This is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with people who are so programmed. And that's the last thing that uh, the few seeking to uh, enslave and direct billions want you to do. And what Tesla said is that mainstream science thinks deeply, but doesn't think clearly. But you need to be sane to think clearly. You don't need a scientific mind to understand reality. You need a free one. And the scientific mind can be a massive uh, uh, drawback to understanding reality. Because, you know, if you look at a human life, it is a 24-7 uh, almost downloading of a program of perception. Look at it. You come out of the womb and you are um, immediately influenced in your perceptions of the world by your parents who've been through the same programming process you're about to go through and are not passing it on to you through malevolence but because they think it's real. So immediately you're out the womb and you're already uh, having your perceptions uh, uh, directed and molded by your parents. Three, four, sometimes five years only after you enter this reality, you've, you're sitting at a desk and an authority figure called a teacher is telling you at least five times a week, hours and hours a day, what is, what isn't, what's right, what's wrong, what's possible, what's impossible, what's happened, what's not happened. Uh, and in terms of control, they're telling you when you have to be there, when you can leave, when you can eat, when you can talk, when you can go to the toilet. You've only just arrived. And then all the way through your formative years, right into your teenage years, this download of the state's version of reality is going on. At the same time, your parents, when you're, when you're younger, are confirming, except those that have expanded their awareness, they are um, uh, confirming that what you're being told at school is true. All the people around you, your peers and your friends and your acquaintances, are going through the same uh, programming system. Uh, they're confirming to you it's true. Every time you turn on uh, the mainstream media, and much of the alternative, let me say, they are um, uh, telling you the same thing is true. Um, and so on and on and on it goes. And then there's not only the download of, um, uh, uh, of the perception, there's also the policing of the perception. Um, if you um, challenge what you're being told at school, then you are a disruptive influence in the classroom. If you question what I call the posted stamp consensus, what this, um, this download is telling us to believe in, in terms of its narrowness of possibility, then um, your peers ridicule you or call you crazy because you're challenging this norm. Next stage, you go into the adult world. You go into politics, you go into journalism, you go into medicine, you go into science, you go into the corporate world, you go into education to be a teacher or, or an academic. And what are you taking in to those institutions? The core programming that you've been downloading since the day you were born, actually before, in the womb, through the mother as well, perception program. And then you've got these institutions, therefore, that are directing society and are telling society what is and isn't, the new teacher, once you get into the adult world, um, they are confirming to each other that actually this ludicrously narrow sense of reality and norm, normal, is real. So a journalist um, will, uh, if he's c covering, or he or she is covering a medical story, they won't go to an alternative practitioner who's coming from a different view of reality. They'll go to a doctor, and they'll get the, 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 they'll get the um, the song sheet, the way through your life, you are being bombarded with a sense of normality and a sense of the possible and a sense of reality, which is so powerful in controlling people's perceptions that people have laughed at me over the years for saying things that science, even mainstream science, has proved to be true. But because that's not appeared in the mainstream, uh, of, of uh, where they get their information from. They don't know it's been proved to be true, and thus 
if I'm saying that it's got to be crazy. Because I'm, I, you know, I never went to, to school. Thank you, God. This is the other thing about this program. The further you go in it, the more programmed you become to this perception of normal, this ludicrously narrow uh, sense of normal. And who goes further into it? Those that go on to be scientists, that go on to be doctors, that go on to then tell us what normal is. You know, there's a, a professor in Britain who's famous for trashing anything alternative, um, who wrote a book and said that um, reality is not malleable, it's, it's basically solid, when it blatantly isn't. And then in the same book, he says that his, um, his knowledge of quantum physics is, quote, a bit foggy. They cannot literally think outside of it. So, as Tesla said, they can think deeply within the program, but they th can't think clearly, so they see beyond the program. That's why we need uh, free minds looking at this, not scientific minds. They're never going to suss it. Why do, um, do, do animals uh, know when an earthquake's coming? Why do they know when there's a storm coming before humans do? Because they haven't been to school. They don't read the local newspaper and, and, and watch the mainstream media. Um, they've not got peer pressure all the time that we've, di we've discussed to desensitize them from the wider field and focus them only at a, at, a, at a tiny band of it. They want you isolated in a sense of little me, in a sense of everything's apart from everything else, rather than we're all expressions of the same awareness having different experiences. And so the system has been set up to pressure people from the earliest age to sense and self-identify themselves with the labels of experience rather than the infinite, eternal totality of who we really are. Um, and once you enter the realm of the five senses, and that's where science is, quantum physics apart, that's where medicine is almost entirely medicine, um, you, um, you can only see what you can see. You can only perceive what your five senses can uh, draw to you in terms of uh, experience. And everything beyond it is lost to you. Therefore, you, you, you can't get this greater insight. You're isolated. Now, if you, if you want to control people, do you want them communing with each other symbolically and sharing their experience so everyone uh, has uh, the benefit of other people's insights? Or do you want them isolated from each other so they're, they're not sharing information? They're, uh, the only information they receive is the information they've got themselves. Of course, you want the latter because then people uh, are in ignorance of what there is to know. And if they're ignorance, in ignorance of what there is to know, they're in ignorance of... Um, of almost everything. The human disease is ignorance. And I don't say that in a condemnatory way, it's a, it's a fact. Um, and they're ignorant of so much because the system has made them ignorant. This is why the narrow band of postage stamp normal is all you get through the education system, it's all you get through the mainstream media, it's all you get from all these forms of communication. Ignorance is still a choice. They're trying to make it no longer a choice by suppressing alternative information and they're trying very very hard to do that now but still now as we speak ignorance is a choice it's not like um, you know you're, you're in a situation like China for instance where they firewall off great swathes of the internet that they don't want you to see then ignorance is not so much a choice it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a, a, a an ignorance that's imposed uh, but if people want to know um, what is possible and what's going on beyond what they're told by the mainstream everything, um, it's there still for now in books and in, um, on the internet and videos, etc., where they can see it. What they're doing now with the internet is trying to firewall off people in the same way as the Chinese do, but in a more subtle way. So um, in China, there's great chunks of the internet that you can't access. 
What they're doing now with the monsters that are Facebook, Google, and all these other internet giants, which in the end are, are controlled by the same network, is they are ensuring that basically as much as possible, you only see what you already believe. They do this by uh, algorithms. Uh, they um, chart your surfing history. They chart what kind of subjects you watch on YouTube and uh, what you say on Facebook. And then the next time you go in, you are offered a series of videos or a series of stories that relate to your surfing background. In fact, it's been exposed that when you're on Facebook, um, on the phone, your, um, your conversations are being uh, recorded and scanned by algorithms. And they found this out by people having conversations about various subjects. And when they next went into Facebook, they were being offered advertisements for the subjects, not that they'd been surfing, but they'd been discussing between each other. Um, and what that means is that you have a certain belief system. And when you go into the web, as much as possible, they're offering you only that belief system. They don't want you to see something, if you like, by accident, that might make you think, oh God, what's that? Oh, I, d I didn't know that. Hey, come and look at this. They don't want that. And this is what's being done by algorithms now. There's this, um, this war on, on expanded perception going on. At least look at things more dispassionately that are outside the box and they would have waved away by reflex action before and they're desperately trying to keep the lid on this or put the lid on this uh, by all these methods we're talking about.